हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू लाइक माई वीडियोज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल क्वेश्चन नंबर 11. साल फॉर एक्स सिक्स एक्स माइनस टू बाई नाइन प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस फाइव बाई एटीन इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री टेकिंग कॉमन डेनोमिनेटर पोथ एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस वी गेट टू इन टू सिक्स एक्स माइनस टू प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस फाइव बाई एटीन इक्वल टू सिक्स बाई एटीन टेकिंग एटीन टू राइट हैंड साइड इट विल मल्टीप्लाई विथ सिक्स बाई एटीन एटीन विल कैंसल Hence only six. Two into six x equal to twelve x. Two into minus two equal to minus four. Three x plus five equal to six. Twelve x plus three x equal to fifteen x. Minus four plus five equal to plus one. Taking plus one right hand side, it will become minus one. Six minus one equal to five. Fifteen x equal to five. X equal to Five by fifteen, cancelling five by fifteen with five, we get one by three. X equal to one by three. Option A is correct. Question number twelve. Which of the following equations is same as fifteen plus three x equal to three? Equation is given fifteen plus three x equal to three. Taking fifteen to right hand side, fifteen positive है, right hand side आने से negative होगा. Hence, three x equal to three minus fifteen. Hence, option A is same as given equation. Similarly, three is positive. Left hand side आने से negative होगा. Fifteen minus three. Fifteen minus three. Three x right hand side आने से negative होगा. Minus three x. Option B also same as given equation. Dividing left hand side and right hand side by three. Option D also same as given equation. In option C, fifteen plus three x by three equal to three. But here only three x divided by three, not all terms. Always left hand side का each term and right hand side का each term same number से divide होता है. But here only one term divided by three. इसलिए option C is wrong. Hence option C is not same as given equation. This is the correct option. Question number thirteen. If the sum of two consecutive odd numbers is one hundred eighty-eight, find the numbers. Let the odd number be x. Then other odd number x plus two because both are odd numbers and consecutive. One number is x, other number is x plus two. Both are Odd numbers and consecutive, इसलिए x plus two. Sum of both x plus x plus two equal to one hundred eighty eighty. It is given. Taking two to the right hand side, simplifying left hand side, two x equal to one hundred eighty eight minus two. One hundred eighty eight minus two equal to one hundred eighty six. X equal to one hundred eighty six by two. Taking two to the right hand side, x equal to ninety three. Hence one number is ninety three. Other number is x plus two. It means ninety three plus two equal to ninety five. Clearly both are odd numbers and consecutive. Also sum of both is one hundred eighty eight. Everyday mathematics question number fourteen. Ram's father's age is three years more than two times Ram's age. Ram's father's age is forty-five years old. Form an equation to find Ram's age. Let Ram's age is x. His father's age is two times the Ram's age plus three. This is x two times the Ram's age two x plus three. It means three more than two times the Ram says. In other sentence, it is given Ram's father says is forty-five years. Hence, both are equal. Equation formed: two x plus three equal to forty-five. Option A is correct. Two x plus three equal to forty-five. Question number fifteen: A shopkeeper sells bananas in two type of boxes. One small, 
and one large. A large box contains as many as six small boxes plus two loose bananas. Form an equation which gives the number of bananas in each small box. If the number of bananas in one large box is 50, let number of bananas in each small box equal to x. Then number of bananas in six small boxes equal to x into 6 that is 6x. There is a comparison between bananas in large box and small box. Large box contain as many as 6 small box plus 2 loose bananas. Also it is given large box contain 50 bananas. Both are equal. 6x plus 2 equal to 50. This is the equation. Option C is correct. 6x plus 2 equal to 50. Question number 16. One fourth of a pole is painted red. Two fifth is painted blue and remaining 21 meter is painted green. Find the height of the pole. Let height of the pole is x meter. The pole is painted red one fourth of the total height. It is 1 by 4 x. One fourth of the x painted red. Two fifth of x painted blue and the remaining 21 meter painted green. Adding all parts of the height of the pole is equal to total height that is x meter. Taking all variable turns left hand side and constant turn to the right hand side we get 1 by 4 x plus 2 by 5 x minus x equal to minus 21. Adding left hand side taking common denominator 20 5x plus 8x minus 20x by 20 equal to minus 21. Taking 20 to the right hand side minus 7x equal to minus 21 into 20. Taking minus 7 to the right hand side it is multiplied right hand side and is a divisor. Cancelling numerator and denominator by minus 7 x equal to 60 meter. Total height of the pole is 60 meter. Option B is correct. Question number 17. There are some lotus flowers in a pond and some bees are hovering around. If one bee land on each flower, one bee will be left. If two bees land on each flower, one flower will be left. Then the number of flowers and bees respectively are dash. Let the number of flowers be x. Then number of bees equal to x plus 1. Because it is given if one bee land on each flower, one bee will be left. It means bees are one more than number of flowers. Second sentence is given if two bees land on each flower, one flower will be left. Subtracting one flower, x minus 1. This is x minus 1. जब two bees एक flower के ऊपर land करते हैं, तो one flower कम हो जाता है. It means x minus 1 into 2. Both expression are same. This is number of bees and this is also number of bees. According to the question, x plus 1 equal to 2 into x minus 1. This is number of bees. This is also same number of bees. Opening the bracket and taking the variable terms to the left hand side, we get x minus 2x equal to minus 2 minus 1. Minus x equal to minus 3. Multiplying both sides with minus 1, we get x equal to 3. Hence number of flowers equal to 3. Number of bees x plus 1. 3 plus 1, 4. Verifying here, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 into 2, 4. This is the number of bees. x plus 1, that is 4. Number of flowers, 3, bees, 4. Achiever section. Question number 18. Match the following. Statement 1. Arjun's father's age is 5 years more than 4 times Arjun's age. 
find arjun's age in years if his father is 37 years old let arjun's age is x years then his father's age 5 years more than 4 times arjun is that is 4x plus 5 also it is given father's age is 37 years hence according to the question equation formed 4x plus 5 equal to 37 taking 5 to right hand side 4x equal to 37 minus 5 x equal to 32 divided by 4 that is equal to 8 Hence statement one matches to Q. Looking towards the option, option A and B is correct. C and D cancelled. Statement two, Ramesh says that he has eight notebooks more than four times the number of notebooks Anuj has. Ramesh has forty-eight notebooks. How many notebooks does Anuj have? Let Anuj has X notebook. Then Ramesh has four X plus eight. because 8 more than 4 times the notebook anuj has also it is given ramesh has 48 notebooks according to the question the equation is 4x plus 8 equal to 48 taking 8 to the right hand side this is positive right hand side aane se subtract hoga 4x equal to 40 x equal to 10 dividing 40 by 4 Statement two matches with R. B is the correct option. Two R. Question number nineteen. A number consists of two digits whose sum is nine. If twenty-seven is added to the number, its digits are interchanged. Which of the given steps is correct to find the number? Before checking the statement, first solve the question. Let's the digit in ones place is x. Then digit in tens place nine minus x, because their sum is nine. Let's an example. If the number in ones place is two, then tens place nine minus two seven. If the number in ones place is three, then tens place nine minus three equal to six. Multiplying the digit in tens place with ten, and ones place. With one, the digit in ones place, place value and face value same, but in digit tens place will multiply with ten. Ten into nine minus x plus x equal to ninety minus ten x plus x that is equal to ninety minus nine x. Interchanging the digit, it will comes to ones place. And it will comes to tens place, ones place, place value and face value same. It will multiply with ten. Solving the expression nine x plus nine. This is original number and this is the number interchanging the digit. When twenty seven is added to the original number, the number interchanged its digit. Hence, adding twenty seven. To the original number, we get the number. Solving the equation, we get one hundred seventeen minus nine x equal to nine x plus nine. X equal to six. The digit in tens place equal to three, because nine minus six equal to three. This is x six and nine minus x. The digit in tens place. Three. Number is thirty-six. Checking the steps. Let's the units digit be x. Correct. Then tens digit nine minus x. It is also correct. The number is ten into multiply ten with the digit in tens place plus x. The number is ten into nine minus x plus x. Adding twenty-seven. To the number ninety minus nine x, we get one hundred seventeen minus nine x. It is also correct. The number with interchanged digit is ten x plus nine minus x equal to nine x plus nine. This is also correct. This is the 
equation. Digit in ones place 6, tens place 3. The number is 36. All steps are correct. Question number 20. Study the following statements carefully and select the correct option. Solving both equation P and Q. 3 into x plus 3 minus 2 into x minus 1 equal to 5 into x minus 5. Solving the bracket 3x plus 9 minus 2x. This is positive. This is negative. Bracket open hone ke baad. It is negative. It is positive. Minus 2x plus 2. Right hand side 5x minus 25. Taking all variable terms one side and constant terms another side. We get minus 4x equal to minus 36. Multiplying both side by minus 1 we get 4x equal to 36. x equal to 9. Dividing 36 by 4 equal to 9. x equal to 9. Solution of x is 9 in equation P. Hence P is true. Solving Q y by 2 plus 3 by 2 equal to 2y by 5 plus 1. Taking common denominator 10 for all terms in left hand side and right hand side we get 5y plus 15 by 10 equal to 4y plus 10 by 10. Multiply 10 to both left hand side and right hand side we get 5y plus 15 equal to 4y plus 10 y equal to minus 5 but it is given y equal to 5 hence q is false option c is correct p is true and q is false